Hey everybody, it is Thursday, June 30th, and I thought I'd give you my monthly progress report, something I haven't done for quite a while, so stay tuned. Well, as you can see, I'm back in my place. I tried to go to work this morning, but honestly, when I woke up this morning, I, I felt like a plane had landed on my chest. And uh, I was at work for about a half an hour, and I just I started breaking out sweats. Felt like I was going to throw up. I was coughing. So, I you know, I feel like I have bronchitis. That's how I, you know, I usually get it once a year, and this might be the time I'm getting it. <clears throat> So, I uh, stepped on the scale this morning, and now, I'm going to tell you what it said, but keep in mind, I have been sick for a couple days, so that may have affected what is going on here. So, let's see, on my way in, uh, two weeks ago, I weighed 223.9 and uh, that was a 1.5 loss from the previous week. Took my total weight to loss to 53.9. And then last week, on Saturday, I was down to 221.4. That was a loss of 2.4 uh, and uh, for the week and a total loss of 56.4 and that took my month total to 2.9 so you know I weigh every single day and that's how I can get a good month uh, gauge of how I'm doing so today I stepped on the scale and I weighed 216.8 which so far is a weekly loss of 4.6 and a monthly loss of 7.5. And that takes my total loss to 61 pounds exactly. And I'm finally showing a year to date loss. So Things are starting to move again in the right direction. Again, I want to emphasize I've been sick for the last three days. So I'm sure that's impacting that huge weight loss that I'm having this week. Uh, but I sort of don't care. I'll take it anyway and get it. <coughs> so last night, I was sitting here kind of binging on my weigh-in videos from 2019. I've mentioned to you before that uh, that was the year that I first got into Wonderland. And then 2020 came along and um, I actually did pretty well in 2020 until the end of the year. But I've been watching my weigh-in videos and I remembered the week that I got into Wonderland because it was the week of my wedding anniversary back there in 2019. And so I wanted particularly to go back and watch that video. <clears throat> I was so happy and so excited. And then my weight kept going down after that. I mean, not to say that I didn't have some bumps in the road. I did. So right now, this weight loss that I, that I got going on right now is really good. But I remember back when I had, you know, 93 pounds lost. And I've gained that much back. So what helped me back then stay on plan and encourage my weight loss? Well, first of all, I was showing you my scale every single weigh-in, whether it was up or down. I was showing you what the app was saying. 
and uh, I was showing you my food, whether it was interesting or not. And most of the time, my food isn't that interesting. I only cook for me, and I eat a lot of the same things all the time. So, nevertheless, I was showing you the points I was eating. <coughs> and over time, especially this past year, I kind of got away from that. So, I'm going to be going back to that now. Uh, I'm going to be showing you my scale, show, telling you what my weight is, even though, you know, it's out there for the whole world to see. It was what kept me honest. So, I mean, my stats are looking better than they were. My my BMI has moved back down to 40. I mean, it, I gotten it down to 33. But, you know, when I started Weight Watchers back in 2016, my BMI was 50. So I'm not saying I haven't made progress, and 61 pounds is still a good loss total. It's not as good as what I was, and it's not as good as I can be. So getting back to what my, you know, what was working, uh, it's one thing great about, you know, having a YouTube channel is that you can <coughs> go back and see what's on the record. So I was watching myself last night and thinking, man, why did I ever stop this? I was on a roll. And that's not to say that I'm not going to have times when I'm going to go off plan. We all do. <coughs> but I got off plan and I stayed off plan for quite a while. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gained that weight. And my MO has kind of been, well, I'm off plan, so I'm not going to record. Well... That's not what friends are for. You're there to support me no matter what happens in my life. <sighs> so, I did record my food today, so I'm going to show that to you. <coughs> I really can't talk long, as you can tell. Uh, so, I'm going to show you my food today. I wanted to give you my monthly progress report. You know, I was doing that, too back then when I was being successful, whether I had a good month or not, this is the best month I've had all year. And the only change I made really was that I started tracking food and I started tracking it before I ate it. Again, I'm back to weighing everything in grams. I did get my food scale back yesterday. <coughs> And uh, so that's that's really the biggest change I made was I just started tracking again, started moving more again. I've done, you know, a hike almost every weekend that I've had a day off. I don't think that's going to happen this weekend because I just need some time to recover here. So, and plus my day off is on the 4th and 5th of July, and I don't really want to be driving anywhere on the 4th of July out here. <coughs> I think if I do anything at all, I'll just walk around the campground a little bit. There aren't any fireworks out here. The National um, Park Service is prohibiting fireworks because they um, disrupt the wildlife here. And with fireworks, there's always a fire danger. So the Park Service doesn't want fireworks. The National Forest doesn't want fireworks. And the campground does not allow it because the Park Service and the Forest Service um, don't allow it. So, no fireworks. I probably will be watching some online from back home, but that's okay. Uh, next day or two, I'm just kind of going to lay low. We'll see if I get to work tomorrow or not. I really can't lose much more income. Because right now, I'm down two days. I'll get paid for the half hour I clocked in for today, but uh, other than that, I plan a day as just to kind of sit here and keep laying down and uh, just relaxing and taking it easy. I don't have to go anywhere. I was planning to go back over to the dorm <coughs> and get the rest of my stuff. I don't feel well enough to do that. That can wait for a couple of days. No, no one's going in there right now. So, well, anyway, I'm going to stop here. 
want to let you know how my month went. I did have a great month. I'm hoping to have a great July. I'm hoping my weigh-ins keep doing well. I'm like tracking and following a menu plan again. And uh, I plan on doing well for the rest of the year. So let me stop here and I'm going to show you what I've had to eat today. <clears throat> Nothing overly exciting. So, you know, don't get, oh boy, she's going to show us her food again. <clears throat> and remind you, my personal plan may not be your personal plan. <clears throat> I get 22 points right now. Um, I think. Let me, I'm going to double check that because for a minute I thought I had 23. I mean, not that it really matters. I'm not going to squabble over one point. I get 22 points a day on the plan that I'm on. So, and uh, the plan I'm on is very similar to the blue plan. So, like my eggs are zero, my yogurt's zero. So, a lot of my zebra point foods are the same as what they were on the blue plan. So, okay, guys, I'm going to stop talking now. And uh, have a great day. Let me know below what you think about my progress. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Sorry I look so pathetic today. I'll tell you what, I haven't felt this lousy in a long time. <laughs> <coughs> so, have a great day, and I will be back here, I hope, tomorrow. Bye. Well, my breakfast this morning is um, two hard-boiled eggs. And that is uh, zero points on my plan. Uh, my banana weighed out at 143 grams, also zero points. And I have two slices of the Sara Lee uh, light bread. It's the 45 calorie bread, that's two points. And I just have some spray butter on there. Uh, my coffee total is four points. I have um, a total of 61 milliliters of regular half and half. So on my plan, that's four points. Turns out that I have a six point breakfast. Well, this is what I'm having for lunch today. I don't really feel like cooking, so just have one of these. This is nine points, but 14 grams of protein. So I'm hoping the protein that I'm eating today is going to help me start feeling better. So here's my total lunch, the uh, nine point smart ones, general, I don't chose chicken. Um, and I just added 143 grams of fresh watermelon. So the smart ones is nine points and the uh, watermelon is zero. Well, for my dinner tonight, I'm just having some grilled chicken. Actually, it was just pan fried chicken. Uh, it was a chicken breast that uh, cooked it came out to 185 grams zero points on my plan what is topped with I I sauteed an onion in uh, eight grams of butter uh, the butter <clears throat> was three points and then I mixed in a packet of Lipton cup of soup for the chicken noodle soup and um, I just let that um, cooked together and then reduced it down to make that uh, yummy looking sauce that's on top of the chicken. Uh, the cup of soup is, uh, the packet is two points. So I have a five point dinner and um, I believe this takes me to 22 points for the day. In spite of being sick, I still stayed on land today. Uh, I'm probably going to have some yogurt here in a little bit with some berries before I call it a night. It's about 6.30. So I kind of like to have that extra boost of protein before I go to bed. So I do have some Chobani yogurt here. That I'm probably going to have a plate of that with some uh, just unsweetened berries. And that will be zero points on my plan anyway. So that was my day on uh, my personal points plan and my progress report. 
So hopefully I will feel better tomorrow and I'll be able to show you again what I'm eating on Weight Watchers. I'm going to lose that 147.8 pounds. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, share, comment. You guys have a great night and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow.